Hi guys, Monica here. So as you can tell, I'm outside, so you know what that means. We're doing another cooking video. To be exact, another grilling video. So we're going to be doing a kind of like review type demo video. Um, I'm going to show you guys what I use and kind of just talk you through it just a little bit. Um, I think pretty much everybody knows how to grill, so you don't really need to see me standing here actually grilling. But um, we're going to do a review on the Lowry Steak and Pork Chop Marinade. Uh, I used it for the first time last weekend and I enjoyed it so much that I had to try it on steak this weekend and let me tell you that was my first time ever in my whole entire life eating a steak that had been marinated and it was delicious. I cannot say enough good things about that steak. Anyway, so if you want to see how to do this, then keep watching. Alright, so what you're going to need is some steak. I just got two big top sirloin steaks. Um, just because I can cut this um, into individual little steaks for the little kids and stuff and it'll work out just great. So I got two of those. I also picked up the Lowry Steak and Chop Marinade, which is pretty much what our video is set around. We're just going to pair it with some uh, baked potatoes, some shrimp and pineapple um, kebabs, and a Caesar salad and a bread um, if we like that. Okay, so hopefully you guys can see me. <laughs> So I don't feel the need to set up my big old tripod for this, but we're going to take a uh, Ziploc bag, make sure it doesn't have any holes in it, take the little cap off here, shake that real well, and go ahead and stick our steak, these are pretty big steaks, but it seems like every time I buy individual steaks, um, it just, I don't know, there's just either not enough or we have too many, so it just doesn't quite work out just right. So I'm going to put these two in a bag like so, put those like that. Now because I am throwing um, this bottle away once I finish using it, I am going to touch it with my um, bloody hand, but like I said, I'm throwing it away. So, <laughs> message. So I'm going to um, just pour the marinade into the bag all over the steaks, kind of flop this one over so I can get it on this side too. Now when I did this with the chops, um, I just used, when I put them on the grill, I used uh, what of the marinade was left over in the bag. And I just put that on uh, the pork chops as I grilled them. And so I'm just going to do the same thing um, with this, so I don't need to save any of this. Okay. Let out some of the air. Then we're going to zip that bag up. We're going to lay it flat. And we're going to put it in the refrigerator for... Um, a couple hours and then I'm going to flip it over to um, the other side just to make sure each side is nice um, and coat it with the marinade. I'm going to go ahead and throw these things away, wash my hands, and I'm going to show you guys what to do with your pineapple. Okay, so what you're going to do with your pineapple is you're going to take it, just like so, see if I can do this and hold the camera, and turn it upside down. <laughs> okay, take two guys. <laughs> you're going to turn it upside down into a bowl just like that. Why? Well, I don't know if you know it or not, but all of the sugars in the pineapple settle at the bottom, so if you turn it upside down, they will all run back through uh, the pineapple that is in here, so when you get ready to cut it, which I will be later, um, it should be really nice and sweet. So that's what we're going to do. We're just going to turn it upside down and let it hang out until we start grilling later. Okay, so I just took the steak out of the bag plopped it on my grill, and I did pour a little bit of melted butter over the top just because I want to make sure that the steak is really nice and juicy. I do not like dry steaks. Um, I put butter on all of um, the steak that I normally cook on the grill. Um, I, this is my first time trying the uh, Lowry's uh, marinade. I've never had a steak in marinade, so this ought to be pretty interesting. But I've just put them on there. I'm going to close the lid and I'm going to leave them for about um, about 7-10 minutes. So I'm going to keep checking them so I don't burn them. And then All flip right, them. so I took the steak off. I have that inside setting in a pan covered in foil. Keeping nice and toasty. Now we're going to start, of course, as you see with the shrimp kebabs. So I have just placed them on the grill. I did take a little bit of my melted butter right here and uh, rub it all, all of, on, I cannot even talk y'all, on the shrimp. So what I'm gonna do now is take the excess marinade from um, our steaks and I'm gonna put just a little bit on the shrimp um, just to kind of flavor them up a little bit. I did sprinkle a little bit of uh, sea salt on them in the house but I want them just to have a little bit more flavor than what they have. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that 
and they don't need very long they only need um you know a couple of minutes on each side and then you're just gonna you know flip them back and forth and then take those off as well all right and we're done so we have our steak over here i did put some sour cream and butter on my potato just obviously your preference here is our shrimp and pineapple kebab our bread and then just our little caesar salad and that is basically it all right guys and that is basically it uh, i did go ahead and eat so i'm doing this after dinner so if my face looks really crazy and greasy it's because standing over a hot grill and go for makeup okay but uh anyways the steak was very good and juicy moist flavorful anything that you can possibly throw at it it, it, it was great um, the shrimp kebabs were really good too. Um, I think it added a little bit of that sweetness that I wanted it to because the steak, it wasn't salty, but it was really savory. So, um, anyways, that pineapple just kind of took it to the next level. Uh, the potato, oh, it's good. Everything was delicious. So, um, yeah, so you guys should definitely try um, that marinade and let me know what you guys think. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.